Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Penn, and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be showcasing the Formula Z Mini and how to set up and add storage to this device using a USB-C OTG cable. Now, in this particular demonstration, I will be using a 16 gig flash drive in my example. Now, you can pick your size depending on what you're looking for, how many applications you're looking to store. That would be your personal preference. I'm also going to be having these links down in the description of the video, just in case you have any additional questions or you need examples in terms of what to get or from what brands. All right, so this is the Formula Z Mini. And this is just a media player, a streamer that specializes in playing your live TV service. It comes preloaded with an application, doesn't come with the actual service, but you're able to add your services to it to enhance your experience. And that's what this player primarily is for. So here's the website right here. Um, this is a device. You've seen my videos already. You know, this is the remote, very nice remote. And my first impressions up to this point, solid device. I will, I will say solid device. It's, it, it really is a hidden gem. Um, this is the cable that I'm using. So it's a USB-C to USB adapter. All right. And you can get this for $10, you know, you can get to, you know, your personal preference. And then as far as flash drives, anything from the major brands would work. Even Amazon has theirs. These are just examples. Okay. So I'll have all this linked in the description and it's your personal preference, depending on what you're trying to do and how many applications you're trying to load. So in the next transition, I'm going to be showing you how to set up this device from the hardware perspective. And then we're going to be going into the device and we will go from there. All right. So what we have on the table here is our USB C OTG flash drive that I'm going to be using this example. Um, it is 16 gigs. So maybe that focus there, but your flash drive or your external drive would be your personal preference. In this case, um, we have the media player, the, the dongle right here, the main ingredient, the formula Z mini. And we do have the power cable that came with the device and you know, you will plug this into like a power strip or directly to the wall, whatever your setup is, um, that will be up to you. So first let's get things started. Um, <clears throat> with the power cable, I'm going to take one in, right? And we're going to put it into this piece right here. Now this is going to be a lightning symbol, as you can see. And you're pretty much just connecting it like that. So these are connected. All right, that's the connection so far. If you need to pause the video or rewind, please do so. All right, next, we're gonna need that flash drive. So when we add on storage to this device, we can also have it set recordings and save to this specific device or even um, a network attached storage, which you can set that up on the device itself. This would be more basic, you know, just to get you up and running. And you're going to connect the flash drive to this piece here. And that's the symbol for the flash drive in this case. You're just going to connect it like that. So once that's secure, it's going to be like that. 
So what did we do so far? We connected one side directly to the power so that we can receive power to this thing properly in this case. And we connected another end to the flash drive. This is how we're going to add on storage. This is how we're going to spend it and also have a dedicated place for our recordings if that's what you wish to do. Next, we're going to hook this up to the device itself because it has to be somehow connected to the main unit in order for us to get this properly done. So <clears throat> on the dongle here, it has a spot where you can place this stuff in. And the spot is going to be right here. You plug that up like that. And that's it. That is the full setup on the hardware side up to this point. And I have my remote. Very nice. And this is a premium device. And the next transition, we're going to be uh, getting this set up and I'm going to show you what to do from there. All right. So what's crazy about this part of the video is that I lost over like 30 minutes of footage. Um, mostly catered towards my rumble, but I did have this sort of piece for YouTube. When I went to edit the videos in Adobe Premiere, the audio was just drowned out as if I was underwater. And I've already recorded this part, but this just goes into the, the dedication and getting into the discipline that I have and just the passion overall. You know, when it comes to this channel and educating the people across various subject matters in information technology. Now, one way you can definitely confirm that your external storage of choice or your flash drive is on this device, look under AM. <laughs> There's an icon specifically under the M. And also, if we were to go to device preferences into the settings, and go into the storage. As you can see, USB drive is removable storage. Now, the beauty of this is that you can go into here. Um, you can do erase and format as removable storage. Just to wipe it clean. Things like that. Just took a few seconds and it's formatted. All right. Go back. All right, now I'm gonna go into my TV online. Now I'm gonna do this part a little bit different. And, and the reason being is because I'm gonna have to pause this because I already have my provider example in this. And I'm just gonna be, uh, I'm, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pause the live TV. I, I'm gonna pick a channel that I don't think YouTube would pick up necessarily. And I'm gonna pause it and then I'm gonna go into the DVR options in terms of what I have set, what I recommend, and you know, just showing off the application somewhat. But I won't go into depth until Rumble. And then I'll let you know once that's live, because I had to delete that. I will be right back with you. Okay, I'm back. So I had to like just pick a random channel, pick a scene. It is Japanese anime. Y'all know I like my anime. Um, never seen this show before though, but I pause live TV. Now, what I'm going to do is on my remote, I'm going to press like the hamburger menu or the three lines. It's going to be to the right side of the home button. Okay. And that's going to take me to it. Now, <clears throat> I did go over this portion in the previous rumble before the audio completely got out of control, but let's get into the meat and potatoes. So I'm going to go into settings and you want to scroll all the way down into DVR options. 
I have time shift turned on. You're going to know when it's over to the right. Recording storage location. That is my flash drive. USB device, USB drive. That's what the formula automatically renamed it to. Time shift storage location. USB device. An extra recording time. That's personal preference. If you want that on, you can do that. All right, you can definitely do that. So here in this case, I'm going to back out. And the settings are really legitimate. You know, they're very, they're very nice laid out in this case. Um, you're able to go in and pick and choose what you want to do. You know, you can do player options. I'll show that off where it has the auto frame rate where you can pick between live movies and, and TV series and the metadata API. You can fetch for online subtitles, search and download them through the open subtitles.com. And it's just a very nice premium player option on the market right now. You got parental options in case you need to do that. And then you have the backup and restore options to where you're able to back up your settings, your favorite list to the external storage of your choice. So some of these settings, um, the reason why I'm showcasing these is because we did the groundwork first when we did the hardware setup so that you can, you know, enjoy this device. Oh, I, th I thought that was going to play. Just pause that like that. Go back into settings. <laughs> hey, y'all you, better hope and pray that your boy don't get um chipped by YouTube because you know how sensitive they are. Um, you have VOD. I'll go into this because I'm I'm not playing anything. Um, and I, I'll only show 4K. I'll show that um, 4K, show this category off. So this comes with the provider. Um, once again, showing things like these on YouTube, I think is fine. I'm just showing posters and you get to see more so of the application. Now there will be an in-depth video on Rumble that's coming. And I'm kind of glad that my recording failed initially because I got some different ideas for it, actually, um, that you guys are going to like at the end of the day. So that all that matters. Um, but yeah, but this is all from the provider. And I'm just using this as an example. I have um, backups to a backups, as everyone knows. And I'm going to get out of this, go back to the hamburger menu, go to TV series. And as you can see here, it's just going to be based on the, the categories. You know, it's just going to come down to the categories. I'm an anime person. So if I were to, to be solely relying on this in terms of like an all-in-one device, um, Formula has provided a phenomenal application for its customers and users to have an awesome experience. You know, it's all about the experience at the end of the day. And the UI on this thing is simplistic. The graphics, the presentation, this is something that I like to see, especially when it comes to those that are looking for a more simplistic approach, but it's still DIY enough. You know, you, now you, you still have to obtain something like this. I've seen Angel Beats, uh, nice show. Um, Bleach, yeah. Classic Cowboy Bebop. So, let me go back here. I have a radio feature, um, recordings. Now, I will do this. Um, so, there's no recordings. So, on the Rumble side, you're going to see like a recording in this section once i'm done recording a particular channel and it's cool uh, there's content manager you can schedule manager you know you have a watch list reminders recordings i mean 
they provide the features they provide the device all you need to do is get the provider and you have the media with the provider and the media you're able to take advantage of these actual settings oh wait a minute <laughs> Hey, hey, look, I don't even know if YouTube knows what that show is, but hey, hey, we just going to keep it rolling. Um, content manager, you know, you can um, manage your favorites, your groups here, data sync, content sources. I'm going to hit the back button like normal. Uh, went into it again. Shows the, the mobile. So this is pretty cool here. My TV online plus is the mobile version of my TV online application. So you have it here. You have it on your mobile devices, on phones, tablet. Um, you can travel with this type of setup and they offer you an experience across all the devices that's compatible and listed. And that's just something that um, a lot of service providers don't think of, you know, uniformity, you know, the difference between multiple devices and such. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this here. And that's it. And it's about to be 2 a.m. I'm going to edit this, throw this up on the tube. And um, I'm hoping that I gave y'all like a little bit of the my tv online three experience now in terms of a more in depth and going under the hood per se uh, that will be on rumble all right that would be on rumble so what you saw was the aftermath of me putting in an example provider credentials into the application and then i have access to everything it's, it's, it's like watching tv like watching cable but it's just through the internet, through streaming. And it's very, very solid, very, very nice. So when I upload this, um, if YouTube doesn't flag me with no copyright checks, uh, I'm just gonna have it play as it is and just hope for the best. All right, so make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, cause it's a little bit late for a brother and I'm putting in that work for y'all. Um, more content coming on a rumble for sure. The main squeeze is going to be on the YouTube channel. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. Until next time, peace out. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.